Hello guys, today's video covers Java database connectivity. So these are the required things. Um, you will require XAMPP or else MySQL. Then NetBeans ID or any else ID or Notepad. And the mandatory, mandatory one is MySQL slash JConnector jar file. So let us install this MySQL um, slash JConnector file, jar file. So you can download it from anywhere. Uh, this way we have to download this MySQL connector Java jar file. So I'm not going to download this as I have already downloaded the same. So let's open the NetBeans ID. In this, uh, we have to create one uh, project first. Just go to this new project, then Java with and here Java application, then next. Then give any names, I suppose. Finish. Then in, when the project is created, we have to do one thing is inside this library section of this uh, same project, we have to uh, import the jar folder or jar file, which we just now installed. That is MySQL connector Java dot jar file. So we are going to import it from wherever you have uh, installed this. So in this way, it will appear here. And after that, we have to write one code. This is the same. So we need to import few important uh, things. That is SQL, Java dot SQL dot connection. Java.sql.driver dot driver manager, Java dot SQL dot SQL exception, Java dot SQL dot properties. If instead of that we can simply import Java dot SQL dot star and Java dot util dot star. Then inside our uh, class, inside the main uh, method, we are going to create this uh, connection object which will be initially null. Then uh, our database uh, code will be inside the try catch block. So three things required are URL, user and password. So this uh, pattern of the URL will be same, remain same. Just you have to replace the name of the database here. So in my case, it is snake and ladder. Else everything will be same. Then uh, the user will be root. If you're using XAMPP, then uh, password will be uh, empty. <coughs> here we have uh, taken driver manager dot get connection. And the three arguments are passed. URL, user and password. Then if connection establishes successfully, then we are going to print the message connected to the database Nick ladder. Then I have created the uh, statement class object. Using the same, we are going to execute the queries. I have simply executed the insert query. Uh, I'm going to insert these values inside the uh, score is table, which is inside this snake and ladder database. So the other code uh, uh, that is, uh, if the connection is not successful or if uh, there is any error in connection to the database, then this code will be executed, which is uh, this message will be printed and error occurred. Maybe user or password is invalid. Then inside the final block, we are going to close this connection object. So let us open the XAM first. Inside that, we have to do one thing that is, uh, we are going to start this Apache and MySQL server. Then in front, um, this we are going to click this admin button in front of MySQL. Then I have already created the database snake and ladder. I have this table score history inside that. So there is uh, already existing some data. So I'm going to delete that first. So now the table consists of no data. It is empty. You can see that. Now let us run our code. So we are able to see this message connected to the database. Now let us check whether the uh, values are inserted into the table. So we are going to refresh it. 
So we are able to see these values inserted inside the table. If we run our code again, let's say suppose we again run it in same way the message appears and when I refresh it again, the data is inserted. Same data is inserted. Same values are inserted in this table. Uh, so in this way, we can connect to the database and perform any queries, say insert, update, delete, etc. Uh, instead of uh, NetBeans, we can use any ID or else Notepad. And instead of XAMPP, we can use anything else, say MySQL or anything else. In this way, we can form this Java database connectivity. If you like my video, uh, please subscribe and like it. Thank you so much.